Hey guys! It's Sunday, so it's time for another video uh, that is focusing on gratitude for the holidays. So today I wanted to talk about how to have a stress-free holiday. So we love the holidays. It, it is, is a time for gratitude. It's a time for sharing, caring, loving, family getting together, eating great food, having a brilliant time, right? but it's also incredibly stressful. And so last week we talked about some essential oils that can help you focus on gratitude in the moment and all that stuff rather than the stressful bits of the holidays, right? So this week what I, I wanted to touch on some other methods, some other natural things that you can do that will help you to enjoy the holidays without the stress. Sounds good, right? So the first thing is to have a plan to have a stress-free life plan for the holidays. And really this goes for all of the year, right? But those of us who tend to be fairly easygoing can still, I think, get, get sidetracked by the holidays or, you know, because of the crowds and, and uh, the Black Friday rush and all that craziness that we just isn't really normal life for us. And so have a plan. First, know the things that are your triggers. If shopping is a trigger for you, know that if you know gift giving is stressful or the financial part of that is stressful know that if cleaning up for for um, having company over is stressful or if hosting the party is stressful know that right know what the trigger is and know how it is that you can counteract that so clearly because this is our essential oils group you're gonna have a go-to oil that works really well for you for a lot of people, it's stress away. For other people, it's peace and calming. For me, it's all the grounding oils like frankincense or cedar wood or bergamot. If uh, you know, if I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed, like I don't know if I can do it, it gives me like belief that I can, right? Um, so any of those oils that we talked about last week will be really helpful for you. Uh, but also, there are some other things that you can do as well. Not just knowing what those oils are but having them with you. So if your trigger is shopping, bring the stress away with you on the shopping trip. Uh, if the trigger is planning the gifts, you know, because of the financial aspect of that, have the oil with you when you're doing that, right? Don't get yourself into a situation that you know is gonna be stressful without having your, your tools for handling it. And so for a lot of people, that will mean using some sort of diffuser jewelry um, that you can wear a, brace, a necklace or a bracelet and it has lava beads or wood beads that you can drop a little oil on there, rub it in, and then that will just have that, the essential oils getting into your limbic system, getting into your nose and all that stuff all day long, right? So I sell diffuser jewelry at Lulamay Design. Lots of other people have diffuser jewelry. If you don't have some, I highly recommend it. It's just the easiest way to keep the oils with you all the time. Another thing you can do is a car diffuser. So they have the ones that plug into like the cigarette lighter in your car. Um, or just something really, really simple like, you know, uh, some people will do a cotton ball and stick it in the air vent so that as the heater is running or the air conditioning is running, it's running past uh, the essential oils. Okay, so that's one thing. Another thing would be staying focused on the goal. So staying focused on what is the whole point of this thing that I'm doing, the whole point of the, the present shopping, the whole point of the cleaning, the whole point of the cooking. What's the point of it from an emotional standpoint, not from a perfectionist standpoint? So joy, community, focus on that. And for me, a thing that really works is to have an affirmation. So the, my personal affirmation for November is my future comes from my now. My future comes from my now. My gratitude increases my abundance. My gratitude increases my abundance. So that's helping me to just stay in the now. You may have something very specific, like the gifts that I give and receive help us to know that we are loved. Something like that, right? So that it's not about the material aspects of what happens at the holidays, but whatever it is that is your real goal for the holidays to get the most out of it. Um, you know, all of our holiday traditions help us to make memories as family. So that it's not about the perfection of the holiday tradition, but it's about the family and the memories. You get it. Create it for whatever works for your life, whatever your personal holiday goals are, right? And then as a bonus, 
But a really important bonus would be a fourth thing that you can do, which is to start your day right. No matter how crazy the holidays get, no matter how many extra things get added to your plate, no matter how many, no matter how many people are running around your house, still take that same time that you would on the best of days to get your day started out right. I personally use a gratitude journal. I have a manifesting journal that I use every single day. It says what I'm grateful for, what I'm focused on, and then at the end of the day, I review the day, right? Something so, so simple. Um, it could be for you, it could be meditating. It could be reading your Bible. It could be writing out the things you're grateful for. Whatever works for you. If you don't have a morning routine, now is the perfect time to start that before the holiday craziness gets uh, gets in full in full mode, right? Because that has been one of the most powerful things in my life, to have that routine. If you have questions, if you want help creating one, I am more than happy to help. But if you do have one, just don't let go of it because of the holiday craziness. Hold on to that because it will keep you sane, all right? So know what your triggers are, have a plan, bring your essential oils and whatever it is that helps you with you when you know you're gonna be in those uh, stressful situations right? Keep your mind on the goal and have an affirmation that will help you to stay focused on that. And then make sure that you keep that morning routine so that you can stay focused on gratitude and really have the best holiday possible. So if you have any other suggestions on stress relief, natural things that work for you, things that are working for you to help you stay focused on the holidays and what that really means to you, share those in the comments below. We would love to hear them. All right, guys, and until then, I will see you guys next week for another video, but sneak peek at what's coming up this month. We are going to do the Hostess's Guide to the Holidays. We have a bunch of fun things planned for this week in the group, so I look forward to sharing those with you guys starting tomorrow. All right, guys, see you soon. Bye.